Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, I have this uh, Juniper EX43 counter. So let me show you what the operating system that we have in here. I chose system information. Uh, that's the, you know, the model number. Right there, uh, that's the operating system. So uh, we are upgrading to 21R2R3 if I don't remember, but that is at the 21 uh, Junos OS version, that's the key. And we are upgrading the Junos using a USB pen drive. So I have different videos, you know, showing how to copy the operating system from a TFTP server, but in this particular video, we are using a, a USB, just in case, you know, if you don't have a TFTP server in your network, but if you have, you know, the operating system in a pen drive, so we, you can uh, upgrade the switch using this particular method. So let me show you how to how to do that. Let me insert the USB into the USB port. So as you can see right here, you know the uh, you provide the system to detect you know a new drive into the unit. So we are going there. We are going to that shell exit from shell we are executing the following command to mount a volume the volume which is the usb with the operating system file so we are executing mount ms fs space dash device dash da1s1 dash mmt enter and that will mount a new volume into the unit. So we can go to into the volume CD dash MMT LS. I have different file right there, but uh, we need only focus on the Unos OS operating system. Enter. So we are uh, hot time install this one right here. Twenty one one R one dot eleven. That's the operating system that we are upgrading right now uh, previously I showed you the version is this one 18 so we are upgrading to the version 20 so in order to do that you we need to come back to a CLI and from here so just execute request system software add and the volume enter the operating system and we are executing not validate and enter this will, this will take you know, a few minutes um depend of the operating system but let's let's just wait enter and that basically is the how did you uh mount you know a new volume into the switch and from there, you know, transfer your operating system, you know, to the, uh, to the, to, to, to the, to the flash. So, you, we need just to wait to see, you know, this take about like a, maybe like, maybe four or five minutes, something like that. So, uh, as we can see right here, look, the, um, apparently, you know, everything is working fine, so I need to uh, execute request system reboot in order, you know, to, uh, to complete with that, with the upgrade. So, let's go, request system reboot. And, uh, and over there, into the boot process, execute a few upgrade as well enter yes let's wait you know a few minutes so the, re the units is rewarding right now as you can see right here so um like i've said it this will take you know, a few minutes just uh, you know just wait and we can ask we can also check all you know the uh your great process
So the uh, great process is complete, you know, as we can see right here, all this process, upgrading, you know, different files, submounted files, um, all right here. Uh, and this is, uh, this is a procedure that doesn't format the boot flies. It's just a, a great process, so you can, I mean, execute it, you know, with uh, that. This process don't erase any configuration on the unit. So let's see right here and check the new operating system. Good. And see right. Show system information. And there we go. So this uh, this is the of the upgrade process from USB. So basically we are run, we were running 18 point something and to 20. We are great to this particular operating system version. That's what exactly my client wants you know, this particular version. So that's how did you execute all the process? Show chassis. How are detail? Show chassis routing engine. Top chassis, FPC, pick stars, there we go, and uh, top chassis environment to check if all power supply and fan are working properly. And there we go guys, so top system alarm, sometimes there is an important alarm, and nothing major, you know. Um, so basically this is how to do a great Junos OS and in, in x4300 switch thank you so much for your time guys uh, i really appreciate it and uh, if you like the video please subscribe to my channel give me a like and share with your family with your co-workers and with you know whatever you want thank you so much i see you in the next video thanks